home state Senate race has President Reagan tonight heading from his modern ranch in Santa Barbara to an Old West movie set, complete with Roy Rogers and Dale Evans in the flesh. It's a fundraiser and morale booster for San Diego Mayor Pete Wilson, the man Mr. Reagan hopes will succeed retiring Republican Senator S.I. Hayakawa. Linda Douglas takes a look tonight at the white-hot California Senate race pitting Pete Wilson against Governor Jerry Brown. Yeah. Bob P. Wilson, how are you? Hi, Lord. At first glance, Pete Wilson seems to have everything going for him. The full backing of the Republican Party, the support of the president, and an opponent who may be the most unpopular politician in California, Governor Jerry Brown. Brown's unorthodox style and quixotic presidential campaigns have infuriated the voters. Yet the White House is worried he will win. With tonight's extravagant fundraiser for Wilson, the president is pulling out the stops to defeat Brown. Presidential advisor Stu Spencer warns Brown has come from behind before. Well, I would never underestimate Jerry Brown, because he is an excellent campaigner. Brown, says Spencer, is tricky. Excuse me, sir. Would you mind telling me who you're supporting for U.S. Senator? Not Jerry Brown. So you'll vote Republican? That, believe it or not, is a Jerry Brown commercial, one of several which cheerfully acknowledge his unpopularity. The point of the ads is that Wilson is worse. Maybe I will take another look at Jerry Brown. It's not just Brown's audacity that makes Wilson and the Republicans anxious, it's that he rarely misses an opportunity. When Wilson suggested that people under 45 be allowed to reduce their contributions to Social Security, Brown pounced. Do you like Wilson's plan to cut some Social Security benefits? Cut him? He wants to cut Social Security? That's right. Republicans worry Wilson may have stepped into political quicksand. Any time a politician talks about Social Security, he's talking about a loser. A political loser, and uh, I think Pete probably made a mistake discussing it. The White House may try to enhance Wilson's image with the help of cabinet-level campaigners, an effort to link Wilson to Mr. Reagan's personal popularity. Brown is even trying to beat him on that point. I believe that even people who support the president would be well advised to consider voting for me as their senator, because I provide a balance, uh, a spur to keep Mr. Reagan on the right track. Wilson says that claim is outrageous. Uh, I think that he would be flamboyant, not effective, any more than he's been effective as a governor. One White House aide called Jerry Brown a hell of a gunfighter and said we don't want him in the same town as the president. Linda Douglas, CBS News, Hollywood.